Welcome to part two of the how to make a music video series and in today's video we're talking all about production. Hey what's up, it's Chris from Rucker Films and in today's video we're talking all about the production process of shooting a music video. Now production is basically the process where you have the camera and you're actually filming the music video. Now the first thing you want to do when you arrive on set is introduce yourself to everybody and figure out who is doing what and figure out who is responsible for each different job throughout the day. So you want to find the cinematographer, you want to find the director, the assistant, you want to find all of the actors involved and you want to make sure you know who they are and you also want to make sure that they're happy and comfortable with their role throughout the day. Now before you start shooting the video you want to make sure that all of your cast, all of the actors have signed a release form. A release form is a really basic document that actors and talent will sign to give you permission to have them on video. It's super important that release form contain the production company, the director's name and where the footage is going. And if you need a template for a release form then all you need to do is just go onto Google and search for free release form actors template. Once everybody's on set and they know what they're doing it's time to refer to that shot list and that schedule and figure out what the first setup of the day is. So you want to set up the scene, you want to block the action and you want to start rolling. If you're shooting performance shots then you want to make sure that you've got multiple different variations of performance shots captured throughout the day. Now a typical song will be anywhere between two to five minutes long and they're probably structured like intro, verse one, chorus one, verse two, chorus two, middle eight slash breakdown, final chorus, outro. Now it's up to you as a director or the cinematographer to capture two performance shots for the first verse and the first chorus, another two performance shots for the second verse and the second chorus, another performance shot for the middle eight, and then we don't need anything brand new for the last chorus. So this means if you've got two verses, two choruses and the middle eight or breakdown, then you want to capture at least a minimum of five performance shots. And with these five performance shots, you also want to make sure that you've got all of these shots captured at different focal lengths. So on this first performance shot, you want to get a close up, a medium and a wide, and you want to do the same thing for all of your performance shots. So you should have at least three takes of each different performance. Now to add variety to this video, you can shoot each one of these performance shots in a different location, you can do an outfit change, you can have something else going on within the frame. You just want to make each one of these different but you also want to make sure that it ties back to the story and the original concept and the original colour scheme that you planned in your pre-production phase. Whilst you're shooting these performance shots you want to pay very close attention to the music. If the music is very slow, it's graceful, it's beautiful, melodic, then you want to replicate that with your camera movements. So you want to put your camera onto a Steadicam or a Ronin or a 3-axis gimbal and you want to do very gentle, beautiful camera movement to replicate the feeling of the music. However, if you're shooting something upbeat like a hip hop or a rock video, then you're going to want to be more aggressive with the camera movement. You don't need those beautiful tracking shots. You can put the camera onto your shoulder, go handheld and add some more camera shake into your shots. It's really important when you're making a music video that the video and the track become sync, they become one and making sure that your camera movement matches and mirrors the original track is one way that you can do this. So take the time to listen to the track beforehand before you get onto shoot, listen to the track, figure out the ins and the outs of the track, figure out where specific beats are, where different beats are coming in, try and figure out the track and try and use this to create your own choreography with the camera to replicate the track. Now once you've captured all of your performance shots we can move on to the storyline shot and you want to make sure you capture everything from all of the different angles so you've got your close-ups, your medium, your wide shots, you've got over the shoulder shots. Make sure you capture the story in full detail and then you also want to make sure that you shoot b-roll. Now b-roll are those extra shots that aren't really the main focus but they can really help to paint a picture of the story. So if we were shooting in a prison cell for example then the b-roll that you could capture would be the prison bars, close-ups of knuckles being cracked, you could shoot some sirens. All of these different examples of b-roll really helps to build the story and this is really useful when you're editing the video. Now one more note that you need to take into account when you're shooting your music video is to shoot in a higher frame rate. If you shoot everything in 24 frames per second then you're not going to be able to slow down anything within your edit and this basically limits you to real time and a music video is a really fun and really playful space to play with your creativity. So make sure you shoot in a higher frame rate of at least 60 frames per second. And this means when you get the footage into your edit, you can play with speed ramping, you can slow the footage down, or you can speed it up. 
and you can be really creative with how you edit the video. So once you've captured all of your performance shots, shot at different focal lengths as explained in this video, you have your storyline shot and you have all of your relevant B-roll, you should now be wrapped up so you just need to thank your cast and crew and then you need to find a computer and we need to begin the editing process and that will be explained in the next video. If you enjoyed watching this video then please do let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe, push that bell icon and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.